Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. James Johnson, the President of the United States, and Mrs. Reagan. Thank you, and please be seated. Thank you all very much, and welcome to the White House. Or should I say that for all of us here at the White House and on Capitol Hill, welcome back, Lady Bird. It's good to have you home. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Some of the duties that come with this job of being president are more enjoyable than others, but nothing could give me more pleasure than honoring one of our finest first ladies with the Congressional Gold Medal. I would bet that not one American in 10 could tell you who Claudia Alta Johnson is. <laughs> but the whole nation came to love, admire, and respect Lady Bird Johnson As she was her husband's most important aide, and he served his country for seven years here in the White House. When she first met LBJ, then a former school teacher and executive secretary to Congressman Kleberg in Austin, Lady Bird said, and I'll quote, I knew I'd met something remarkable, but I didn't know quite what. <laughs> well, it didn't take Lyndon long to figure out what we all came to know later, that he'd met someone quite remarkable too because he proposed to her on the second date. <laughs> Sam Rayburn, LBJ's political mentor, said that marrying Lady Bird was the best thing Lyndon had ever done. And though his career and his presidency were filled with many momentous achievements, I think we'd all have to agree. A skilled businesswoman, unofficial diplomat and spokesman for America, regent for the University of Texas, Lady Bird has had an impressive career in her own right. Her concern for the poor and underprivileged helped inspire a nation. Her efforts to beautify America, continuing up to today, still blossom in our nation's capital and beside our nation's highways. In 1941, when LBJ was in Congress, the Johnsons were invited to a reception at the White House. And Lady Bird wrote in her diary afterward, I went to my first Will it be my last and only dinner at the White House? Uh, there were probably times in later years when you were the hostess of the, your umpteenth state dinner at the White House when you wished it had been your last. <laughs> but few first ladies have carried off their unofficial, but as I can attest, essential roles with more energy and dedication than you. As you once said, the First Lady is elected by a constituency of one. And there's no doubt that the best candidate won. <laughs> it certainly took a strong-willed First Lady to compliment a president few would ever have called a milk toast. <laughs> Earthy is more often the adjective used. I remember one story of the time that LBJ was speaking to a group in North Carolina. And after about 50 minutes, the audience became restless. Lady Bird wrote a note on a piece of paper saying, close soon, <laughs> and slipped it to him. LBJ took it, held it up, and read it aloud to the audience. <laughs> Then, after the laughter died down, he continued with his speech. 
<laughs> well, before someone hands me a note, I will close these remarks, simply saying that it gives me the greatest pleasure to present Claudia Alta Johnson with this special gold medal. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, I know very well how gracious and generous this is of you in your busy, demanding lives to give this time to make this such a great day for me and my family and many of my friends. And I also think what it really means is a salute to all those people all over this great land who are working uh, to preserve and to, to enhance the natural beauty of America. I thank you. Now, now we're going to slip out the way we came in all of us, and then when they release you, we will have a chance to see and greet each one of you individually right down here in the, in the, in the hall. So we shall be saying hello in just a few minutes.